I've been following this drama over Assassin's Creed Shadows, and I've come to see it for what it is. I'm sure you know about it, but I'll go over it briefly. Ubisoft releases clips of their new game. It features an African main character as a samurai serving under Daimyo Oda Nobunaga in Japan, and in what is supposed to be a historical setting. The African is named Yasuke, and in historical reality, Yasuke was never a samurai. He was at best a gesture-like entertainment piece for Oda Nobunaga, and he may not have existed at all. There is no evidence at all, none, that suggests Yasuke was ever a samurai. This historical revisionism, of course, and rightfully made, Japanese players angry, along with several Japanese historians. Ubisoft shills started a campaign of harassment and wiki page editing to try and hide the truth that Yasuke was not a samurai. Thankfully, this failed, and the people speaking out against this revisionism made their point emphatic. Any noble man knows truth is self-evident. It does not need harassment or violence for it to be true. Truth, in the eyes of cultural Marxists, is whatever their leaders deems is true, and anyone who disagrees is doing so only out of hate and willful ignorance. This, of course, shouldn't have to be said, but it bears repeating. These cultural Marxists are fervent and adamant on pushing their narrative. They refuse to see evidence. They blatantly refuse truth. These people cannot be reasoned with rationally, as they are inherently irrational. Attempting a discussion with them can leave one feeling disconnected from reality, as if they are living in a different world. These people do not want to hear truth, as it destroys their worldview, and so they're taught to refuse to listen to the other side. Their hysterical revisionism is the pinnacle of their ideology. We see this in their discussions on race, politics, sex, and gender, along with economics. They're like a slime. Grabbing it and squeezing only leads to them slipping through the cracks of your fingers. You target one point of their ideology, and they'll shift to something else. They don't have a basis to justify their beliefs beyond personal feelings and emotions. Since they have no foundation, they must uproot those that do. What you see today is the attempted destruction of our history, our people, and our way of life. This has been in the works for almost 200 years now, although the masses are waking up and the cultural Marxists are losing control of the narrative. People know they're being lied to. They know playing along only hurts them so they're refusing to. The cultural Marxists are panicking as we speak, and their use of the crony capitalist regime planted by the Lincolnians and their bankers is failing before our eyes. With that said, you have to keep something in mind. This attempt to revise the history of Japan is but one of the countless revisions made of our history. There's countless untold parts of our history that have been edited, warped, and corrupted, or outright destroyed. The UK comes to mind, with Cambridge University, along with British media, outright denying the existence of the Anglo-Saxon people, a claim that should enrage Yankees, Dixielanders, Canadians, Australians, and New Zealanders. As stated before, truth is self-evident. To see which side is in the right, look at which side is violent, aggressive, and refuses to hear differing opinion, to truly see who is wrong. Truth can withstand criticism. In fact, it welcomes it. Truth can dismantle falsehoods by simply being what it is. Truth doesn't need those that believe in it to dismantle statues, harass people, attack those that look different from them, and to burn and loot. Truth is self-evident. Even with things that are simple and unimportant like video games, the cultural Marxists are losing. After Sweet Baby Inc. had been found out, Countless players had become outraged and finally had a face to the cultural Marxists ruining their games and pushing agendas. Of course, Sweet Baby Inc. isn't the only consultancy company responsible, they're just the most recognizable. The cultural Marxists at first on Sweet Baby Inc.'s ousting tried to gaslight players, attempting to convince them that Sweet Baby Inc. was just a boogeyman, a figment of their imagination, and that they were just being hateful chuds made that mad that plus-size trans women of color exist. Of course, more came out, proving that Sweet Baby Inc. had many games of which they were responsible for the stories of which were full of agendas, with very few exceptions. God of War Ragnarok being an alright to mediocre game at best, with Marvel movie tier writing and the purposeful, disrespectful use of religious figures. Thor was designed to be an obese, disheveled, and abusive father, and Grabota was made to be a black girl, which of course makes no sense that a game set in Scandinavia. Of course, cultural Marxists will attempt to shill by claiming God of War was always disrespectful to religious figures and that we're just hateful bigots, 
completely ignoring the fact the old games at the very least depicted the Greek gods accurate in design. Thor had virtually no descriptions that fits his depiction, though. Yes, there are a few that describe him with red hair and a beard, but there's more that describe him with a clean face and golden hair. On top of that, in actual mythology, Thor is depicted as the defender of man, a protector, someone who values those of noble values and butts heads with Odin on a few occasions. Whereas in game, Thor is a red-haired, beast-whipped puppy who only listens to his father Odin. With this said, it's not about accuracy. It's not about telling a story. It's about narrative control. It's about gaslighting you into forgetting your history. They have no qualms with spitting on a religion practiced by our ancestors and still practice it today, be it in spite of Christianity or through legitimate faith in the old gods. This all makes me quite glad, though, that these cultural Marxists have yet to get a hold of Celtic mythology. If they did, they turned the Dagda into an incompetent caveman, Nuada into a petty tyrant, Baller of the evil eye as the real good guy, and the Morrigan into a boss bad bitch who don't needs no man. Point being that even Sweet Baby Inc.'s only acceptable game still can't help but push anti-white agendas. These people want to erase your identity, to erase your history, to erase your perception of reality. If these people are so willing to go this far with something unimportant like video games, what else are they willing to change? We are healing, though. The people are waking up. And given time, we will be rid of this. German youth singing Auschland Raus. British natives refusing their homes to those that hate them. Japanese refusing their history to be rewritten. No! You think the South was objectively right during the Civil War? Yes. It's like a glove. One good spill deserves another. Your blood for my drink. You're terminated, fucker. I've got a present for you.
Oh, 